And speaking of here, why I am here in Indianapolis is tonight. And the Horizon League automatic bid is up for grabs in their conference tournament championship game. Top seed Oakland against the upstart Milwaukee Panthers. Milwaukee has already pulled a couple of upsets with Green Bay and last night with Northern Kentucky. Now, the, the tournament began at home sites. Uh, Milwaukee had to win at Green Bay's home site just to advance to the neutral floor of Indianapolis. Uh, Oakland won in a narrow game at their home site. Obviously, both teams' semifinal wins last night. Uh, Oakland had a three-point shooter, Jack Golke, who went crazy last night. Guys making seven of them to help them get past Cleveland State. All right, we see the line for the number one seed. They are favored by three and a half. The total is 151 and a half. Big man, I'm the last person that has any credibility talking about this because I thought Northern Kentucky was beating Milwaukee last night. Milwaukee scored 50 points in the second half. Uh, Northern Kentucky unable to stop them, especially in the paint. Dribble drive. All right, your thoughts here real quick. Some handicapping on this championship game. Somebody goes to the NCAA tournament. Yeah, I, I, I'm i still trying to understand that, Les. I, I just don't get it. I mean, Milwaukee couldn't make anything from three yet. I, I mean, I don't know. Northern Kentucky just abandoned everything. I don't know. Marquise Warwick, did he play last night? Where was he? I mean, it, one, just a bizarre one performance. One make, one for 14 to start yeah. the game. He made just, one late shot. He did nothing. He's their best player. It was it was just crazy that he did nothing. Yeah, it was a bizarre performance overall, but uh, that that's in the past. Uh, as far as this game, uh, it won't be a game I'm, I'm interested in. I, look, both these teams, you know, Offensively, are really good. You know, both te- games are high scoring. I think these game these guys got the one ninety plus in regulation earlier this season. I know the first thought is that that these tournaments are low scoring, but we've seen a couple where, you know, like an Indiana State Drake, where two good offensive teams play each other and they just trade baskets. Uh, you mentioned Golke. You know, obviously um, uh, Trey Townsend for Oakland. They have instant offense. B.J. Freeman. I mean, they're, they're very downhill. Look, if they can get to the to the hoop, they're going to score. I mean, they are elite at getting to the rim, uh, and, and it didn't really matter that Northern Kentucky threw a zone out of times. They found a way to, to shimmy through and and score. So, yeah, I, I don't I don't know how to bet this tournament. I don't know what to, to to bet on. I will just say this: this is how Milwaukee's done for me in this tournament. I bet on them to beat Detroit Mercy big. They barely won the game, so I lost that. Right. And they came back last night to Northern Kentucky. They were up, blew that. I can't figure out Milwaukee. I don't know this tournament. If you told me that I had to predict whether the sky was blue or not and it was sunny, I would get it wrong. So I'm out. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't know if it's that bad. Matty Cox, uh, thoughts here. Mil- Milwaukee, again, B.J. Freeman was tremendous with 26. The big guy, Faison Fields, had 16 points, 16 rebounds. They just tore Northern Kentucky up on the boards and on the inside in the game. Does that translate into tonight? Uh, you know, one other factor here, there's not going to be a raucous atmosphere in this building. I think that favors Milwaukee here. Had, you know, had, uh, had it been a championship game with a, clo- a team a little closer regionally, you might have seen a thousand of their fans in the building. I don't know that Oakland, Northern Detroit suburb will have a thousand people in the building tonight. We'll find out. They're going for the NCAA tournament. Uh, Maddie, some handicapping thoughts, including the total, real quick. Yeah, I mean, the one thing we know is this game will be completely maniacally drunk and wild and fun. Like, whether you're <laughs> betting this or not, which I probably advise not betting it at this point at the current prices. Um, this should be a fun game, and it may involve some stupidity on both sides with some decision-making, some late game, failed execution. You know, we saw Oakland really try and blow that lead late um, last night as well. And Milwaukee, as you guys talked about, these, those games are like roller coasters. Um, the, Milwaukee's really kind of found their identity, though. They're sort of the faceless men, a bunch of non-stars, and then B.J. Freeman. They come at you with pressure. They attack, they attack the rim relentlessly. They get to the glass like effort and motor is very much the identity, the mantra of this team against Oakland, who doesn't have a ton of depth. They're down two of their key guards. Uh, DK Cole was sorry. DQ Cole was awesome last night, but he's been kind of a fringe uh, in and out guy. I mean, if he can play like that again, I think Oakland has a chance to cover this. But I'm betting against the pressure without some of those key um, safety valves in the backcourt with a thinner rotation. I worry about Oakland ability to handle the pressure over the course of of 40 minutes. So I actually kind of lean Oakland first half and I like Milwaukee full game. And the other thing is Milwaukee, can I get to the free throw line? They shot 85 free throws so far in this tournament, 30 last night. Oakland zone's pretty good at not fouling, uh, but Milwaukee can find ways to get to the rim creatively. Bartlone is a great coach too. So I do lean Milwaukee full games ever so slightly. 
Gray Shades, I saw you. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. He said broadside of a barn. He's right. Northern Kentucky couldn't hit the broadside of the barn. It was interesting in the Oakland game. They do. You love this. Uh, late game situations, you got to be smart. You got to make free throws. Uh, Greg Campy's a tremendous coach. But what in the name of Dr. James Naismith are you doing after your guy makes a free throw to go up by yeah, four, fouling. calling, so, yeah. hold on, calling a timeout and then icing your own free throw shooter before the second one, which he did, where allegedly in the timeout they're talking about don't foul them and what is what is uh, Oakland do going the other end? They're fouling a guy shooting a half-court shot and it hit the rim. It was nearly a four-point play. Uh, crazy at the end of that game. They survived. That's the bottom line. So we gave you some good conversation. No official play on Oakland and Milwaukee. Again, pay attention. The winner of this game may be in Dayton in a first four game. Depending, it's If it's Milwaukee, they likely are in Dayton. The winner of this game may be slotted to go play Purdue, for example, in the Midwest or a one seed. Stand by. Automatic bid on the line from Indianapolis. I'll call the game tonight on TuneIn. Uh, free on the TuneIn uh, app, national digital call, 7 Eastern time, Milwaukee and Oakland, coming up this evening. 